Former Deputy CIA Director Mike Morrell in the hot seat after new allegations surfaced. He was whitewashing the Benghazi talking points. So will Morrell be brought back to Capitol Hill to explain? Joining us now, Republican Congressman Devin Nunes. He serves on the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence. Thank you, uh, Congressman, for joining us. So tell us exactly, uh, give us in your opinion, did Mike Morrell, um, did he lie when he testified the first time? Well, we don't know if he lied or not. I went, actually went back through the testimony last night uh, down in the Intelligence Committee because uh, it was all done in a classified setting. Uh, the senators do believe that he lied. Uh, I went back through and I actually recollect it kind of as, as, I, as I've said it in the press, which is the story's just not believable. And so I think what we need to do is there are analysts that originally, that wrote the original talking points that work at the CIA. I think they did their job. Somehow, from what the analysts did, it got changed. Now, Morrell took some responsibility for it, but not complete responsibility for it. Uh, some of Hillary Clinton's people were involved uh, in that, in, in the changing of the talking points. Right. Uh, the White House seems to, there seems to be a, a, a clear line that the White House uh, was not involved, but that to me is not believable. Right, right. Uh, so, Congressman, let me, let me just jump in here. And let me, the the yeah. statement Mike Morrell gave to Fox, he says, quote, I stand behind what I've said to you and testified to Congress about the talking point issue. Neither the agency, the analyst, nor I cooked the books in any way. But, Congressman, the talking points were changed. Susan Rice was giving... Right false talking points to go deliver on five talk shows a couple of days after the, the terrorist attack. Someone has to be responsible for this. Well, Susan Rice, that's a whole other story, Eric. I mean, you, anybody that has half of a brain knows that she just flat out lied. That's without question. We knew after, after so much time had passed that there was no question that this was a terrorist attack. As it relates to Mike Morrell, this is a guy who's spent his whole career working for the government. He's a stand-up guy. Uh, if I were him, I think I would volunteer myself to come back to the committees, especially to the Senate, where, where they believe that he, I mean, they have said on the record that he lied. Uh, I would like him to come back to the House Intelligence Committee and at least meet with us and walk us through his testimony and walk us through exactly which analysts were involved in this because the CIA actually got it right. It's, yeah. it's, and the analysts got it right. It's after that that they got changed, and Mike Morrell is in the middle of it. And we still need to clarify. The, the crazy thing about this is you can go to Congress or the Senate and testify and maybe not tell all, the whole truth or nothing but the truth. Get caught, come back and say, oh, this is the real truth, and everything seems to be okay. We don't have a lot of time. Can I just run the soundbite of Susan Rice saying she did nothing wrong either? Take a listen. Notion that somehow I or anybody else in the administration misled the American people is patently false and I think that that's been uh, amply demonstrated. So Congressman, talking points were changed, they were delivered to the American people, someone's not telling the whole truth. The reaction to Susan Rice? Well I can tell you this, I've met with the, the Benghazi survivors numerous times, the guys that saved everybody from getting killed, uh, they knew it was a terrorist attack. Right. Uh, every, all the uh, other officials on the ground that night knew it was a terrorist attack. I watched the video of, uh, over and over again. Uh, it's clearly it was a planned and well orchestrated attack. There was never uh, any demonstration whatsoever, uh, and I believe that they all knew that. And Susan Rice had to know that. All right. You know, if not, she was just a, a useful idiot in the process. All right, Congressman, we're going to have to leave it right there. Congressman Devin Nunes, thank you very much. Thanks, Eric. Coming up.